because you guys have so much more to focus on, including making the playoffs. But as a player, when you're facing this team, knowing that it could happen in three weeks, is that something that's hard to ignore a little bit? Uh, not really. I think you look at we we had 10 games left before tonight, and um, anything can happen in 10 games. We could be playing, who knows? So it's tough to um, sit here and, and look into what you think might the, the matchup might be, you might as well uh, focus on the task at hand. And right now that's collecting two points because everyone behind us seems to be doing the same thing. You play a game that's obviously predicated on puck possession, and they do as well. You're two of the best teams at it. When you're facing a team like that, what's the what's the key when you both are good, so good at hogging the puck to be able to, to, to have a to ter excuse me a territorial advantage? Yeah, obviously the, to start with it's a huge thing, and, and that starts with faceoffs. And um, once you get it, that's uh, you want to hold on to it. It's a that's a good team over there. It's a big team, a heavy team, and um, I thought we were really good for two periods. Kind of a slow slow start in the third, but uh, uh, we knew they were going to come with the push. And we had to answer back. You don't get a lot of three goal periods in this league when you come in at the end of the second. What, what's the mood like in here? How confident are you after a period uh, like that? Yeah, yeah, we're confident, but at the same time, we talked about how they can, uh, you know, they're a good team and anything can happen, so we need to keep playing forward. And, uh, obviously, the talk didn't work because the first shift we got scored on, but. Um, I thought we just kept our composure. You know, we could have could have went away. They had a couple power plays there. We needed to kill them. Yeah, big for us. Uh, you know, Do you make away. those? The three goals no. in, in the second, though, indicative okay. of how well you guys yeah. played that period. You think? Yeah, maybe. I thought we were really good in the first two. I think it's, uh, you know, it was a it was a solid game. I think uh, all around. Um, it's it's tough to be perfect for 60 minutes, but I think for the most part we were good for most of the game. I'm gonna go in there for the timeout and settle you guys down there. You said that you couldn't make those. Uh, yeah, I mean it's it's uh, things tend to snowball when a uh, uh, team gets rolling like that. So I think maybe it uh, you know, gave us a little break and, and settle things and, and relax a bit and get back to what we were doing. What's been working so well on the penalty kill lately? Good goaltending, um, blocking shots. I just go through a number of things, uh, getting clears down and. Um, it just comes down to, to trying to outwork the power play. Every every time we play a team in, yeah, who's in the playoffs, down the structure, it's going to be tough games because you never know who you will face and what round and whatnot. But I think we, yeah, I mean, obviously every game is going to be really important. But I mean, we, obviously this this was a big win, that's for sure. Did it feel like a playoff? It did. I mean, two teams that really battled hard. It was a lot, a lot of physical play out there, and I mean, yeah, a bit better than it's like. And the good things you were doing in the first period that were finally being paid off? Yeah, it was, uh, it was a good first 40 minutes for us. Um, first period was uh, it was fast, it was competitive. I thought our guys looked quick and we were able to generate some chances. A couple posts, they hit a post. I mean, they're, they're a good hockey club. Um, but I do th I didn't think we came out ready to play in the first. Um, goes in 0 0. We came out and did the same thing in the second. We were able to capitalize on some of the goals. Do you kind of feel that, that those goals coming for them, or did they just, just kind Not of? Not really. I mean, the first one was you know a minute and a half in. It's hard to feel anything at that point. And um, you know, and then they scored another one, same thing, just a, a point shot that had eyes and got in. Um, there was a lot of game left, and they made a kill three penalties. I think after that, so it was not uh, not the way we wanted the third period scripted, but uh, it worked out in the end. Big Good. goal. That fourth goal was a big goal, just to put a little distance on it. And, but it was, you know, it comes three two, anything can happen. Philip Forsberg gets his thirtieth of, of the season tonight. Just continuing to play the way that he has been of late? Yeah, he's, he was really good. His line was good. Um, I really like the way we played, but um, Rivera and Smith I thought were good with Philip. Philip you know, looked really good. He went to the net. Uh, he was strong on the puck. He had the puck on his stick a lot tonight, trying to make plays, moving his feet in the offensive zone. There's a lot of good things that he did. Uh, I guess another milestone, James Neal hits 400, like what you saw between he and Johansson tonight. Yeah, they were really good. They were really good. It's, it's hard to throw out names, you know, that, and, and those guys been on the score sheet deservedly so. But everybody was really good. I mean, for those first 40 minutes, it was a really strong team effort. Um, Joey was good, you know, he, he moved his feet and uh, made some plays. He chipped in, Neil looked good. What do you see in the penalty kill, particularly really over the last two months or so? A lot of I thought tonight we were really kick, uh, quick. Um, you know, those. Those are tough situations. It's a 3-2 game, and we're finding ourselves shorthanded a few times there in the third. It's not, like I said, it's not the third period that you want to draw up or you hope to happen. 
and the penalty kill really came through tonight. I, I like the quickness that we had on pucks and quickness of the battles, numbers in the battles. We were able to get clears 200 feet so many times. Um, guys just working uh, again quickness to maybe find some space to get the puck the full distance down the ice. And when you do that, you know that's 20 seconds, 25 seconds, 18 seconds gone off the penalty kill. So if you do it three or four times in a in a kill, it, it really kills him on his own time. The opposition. And then a lot of the attention tonight at the beginning of the game was on Mike Fisher yeah. being formally honored for a thousand games. Four goals in eight games from him and his goal tonight seemed to be quintessential Mike Fisher. Yeah. What, what's been going on with what do you think, excuse me, what do you see from him in the last eight games? Yeah, I mean he he's been he's been really good. I, th I think coming off of that, he's been good for a while. He really has. Um, you know, he, he, he plays uh, such a good strong two way game for us. Um, I think it took him a little bit of time coming off that injury back a couple months ago and after a few weeks, two, two weeks or so, he really started to pick up his speed and pick up his game. He looks really good right now. That line looks really good. Uh, Colin Wilson had maybe his best game of the year. That's why I said it's hard to, you know, it's hard. I, I thought it was a really good team effort. I could, I could give you a little tidbit on everybody. You know, it was, we showed up to play tonight. Okay. Thanks, Thanks everyone. Guys.